Yeah! Two shots to kill him. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Today in this video I bring you Fortnite in Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. Now I'll leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. It is incredible, it's so much fun, everybody enjoys Fortnite, everybody enjoys Minecraft, we've combined them together. So this will work for iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch and... Uh, the bedrock version basically so we have weapons we have skins we've got more things such as the bush we've got the glider loot llama we've got vehicles we've got pickaxes and we even have the storm so if you do enjoy today's video and you'd like to see some more videos like this please take the time to hit that like button even if I hit uh, this screen as you can see the Minecraft logo has now gone it's been replaced with the Fortnite one I will Save like going to the main screen at the end of today's video because there's something pretty cool I want to show you so make sure you stick around in today's video um, What you can see so you can see something along here, which is obviously for my hot bar and stuff You can see it about here. Uh, that's my health Combined with obviously my shield which is obviously going to be my armor Something I do want to do though is we have three different sets of musics from Fortnite available in Minecraft as you guys can see, we've got the OG Remix, we have the Squeaky Clean, and we have the Eerie. So it's up to you to, to play which one you want to play. Today, we're going to play the OG one. So throughout today's video, we're going to have this music playing. So let's go through everything that is available. You can change the rarity. You can change it to commons, epic, um, rare, and I believe legendary weapons as well, which is what we've got. So we'll start off with this, this being the hand cannon. In fact, I'll grab a couple of weapons so we can just test out what they're like. I grabbed this by mistake. I didn't mean to grab that. Let's grab P90. Big fan of this weapon. So they do come with sound effects as well. Not all of the sound effects are exactly the same. Now, the one thing that I've noticed with these weapons, they fire themselves not all weapons though some of the weapons are a lot better but most of them are very similar to this like for example they just well that goes a little bit further so we can get that cheap it basically fires oh we got him oh we got him it basically fires uh, the weapon in potion form I believe it's in potion form but anyway can we go and kill this sheep I don't know if you can kill things Oh, you can. Okay, so it does do damage to them. We've got default one, suppressed. They're all the same. P90. Oh! Oh, the shotgun teleports you. Okay, that's very different. Uh, we'll grab sniper, 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 and RPG. RPG is a really, really fun one to mess around with. I've been messing around with this one quite a lot. If you guys want to destroy forests, if you want to destroy anything at all, the RPG is the one to mess around with. Uh, we've also got here the stink bombs. We've also got the slurp juice, bandages, med kits, boogie bombs, and you've even got the pickaxes, chugs, and grenades. And instead of, because the boogie bomb only does this, that's all it does. We're going to switch that with grenades because the grenade actually does something. I'm sorry, village. Yes. It's one way to demolish a village. Um, but the grenades are pretty fun. But the, most of the sound effects, they're not all different sound effects. Uh, that's just the way it is. We've got med kits. They don't really do anything. Bandages. They really don't do anything. Slurp juice. They're, they're just more for visual effects. Uh, stink bombs. I mean, I don't know what effect it gives you. Because it doesn't pop up and tell you what effect it gives you. But it does do something, I guess. Uh, you've got snipers. Semi-automatic. You've got the heavy sniper. Which is the Barrett 50. You've also got the bolt action one as well. Um, now this one's got a different sound effect. Let's try and find a villager. Yeah! Two shots to kill him. Let's go! So some of the snipers do have different sound effects, which I thought was pretty cool. Alright, this being the rocket launcher. I love this thing, dude. There's no hiding from this thing. Look at it! <laughs> he ran straight out, dude! I would run straight away as well. 
So yeah, the rocket launcher is just super fun to mess around with. If you don't want things to explode because you're messing around with this in your own worlds, that maybe you've got some pretty cool worlds. Let's quickly get rid of them. I am. Um, I recommend turning explosions off because, as you can see, it's really easy to destroy everything in this. I really love the RPG though. They did a brilliant job with this edition. <laughs> I think that's awesome. We do have a couple of skins here. So we have uh, the Drift skin. We have School Trooper, which I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with. We've got the Bright Bomber, and this one's the Ragnarok one. Yeah, so you can actually wear these as well. So we'll grab a set. All right, I think we'll go old school School Trooper. I do like this a lot. Now, it only comes with uh, boots. It comes with... A chest plate, which is obviously the body, and it comes with a, a helmet as well. It doesn't come with leggings, from what I noticed. And as you can see, every time I equip one of these, you can see that my shield is going up as well. Which I thought was a pretty cool addition, and as you guys can see, I am now the Skull Trooper. So, there's a couple of mess around with here. It's up to you guys to pick which one you want to use. Uh, let's get rid of my inventory one more time. Alright, moving on. So, we've got a couple of things that you can and cannot use. One of the coolest things is the... The Rift to go, which I thought in a second. And obviously, we got the V-Bucks, because everybody's obsessed with this V-Bucks. Only if V-Bucks was that easy to obtain, you could just pick it off the wall and you could just spend it. That's not the case in this, unfortunately. So a couple of things that we do have here is we have the Damage Trap, we have Bushes, we have Bouncer, we have Launch Pad, we've got Rift to go! Yes! I just spoiled it for myself. Anyway, <laughs> I'll show you guys the Rift to go in a little bit more detail in a second. We've got Loot Llama. You've got supply drops, ammo, and you've got the glider as well. So these things, again, they're more just visuals than anything else. This is huge. I don't know what this replaced, but this thing is huge. Forward slash game mode S. It doesn't do any damage to you. Unfortunately. So it's just there for cosmetics. Bush will literally just put down a bush. Um, you could stand inside the bush. I guess. Oh wait, it moves with- Oh dude, the bush moves with you! Okay, I was not expecting that. Now that's a pleasant surprise. I like that. That's so cool. Then how do I get away from- How do I get out the bush? I'm, I, I guess we have to keep the bush on me. What happens if I crouch? Nope, looks like we're gonna be a bush from now on. Oh, that's a really cool addition though. I like that. If you get inside a bush, you become a bush. Uh, a bouncer. I was really hoping that these were gonna be active. Sadly, they're not. Uh, you've got a launch pad as well, which they really don't do anything. They're just there for visuals. Then we've got a rift to go, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It is literally a rift to go. You, you go up in the air. Really high though. Why wouldn't it let me do it again? Hold on, let's grab a new one. There we go. So yeah, the rift to go is simply makes you go like a rift to go would. Um, where's the glider? Because I don't think the glider does anything at all. Or well, does it? I thought it would have been something that you could have grabbed a hold of. That isn't the case. Anyway, oops, rift to go again. <laughs> You're probably going to see me do this so many times. I don't mean to. Pretty cool addition. Uh, ooh, loot llama. I think if we break this, it might drop some loot. Come on. He didn't drop anything. However, I do know that the supply drops will drop something. I think last time I got a sniper and some bullets from this one. Let's see what we get from it this time. Oh, we got bullets just this time. Let's see. There must be some other things that you can get from this then, not just bullets. There we go. We got a bullet and a sniper this time, right? Yeah, we did. Let's go. I keep doing that, don't I? I think it's pretty cool, to be honest with you. It's a nice addition. Uh, you've got ammo boxes. Again, they're just visuals. They really don't do much. It's the same for... The likes of your chest. Actually, I'm not. Can you break chests? Oh, you right click on chests. Ah, at the moment, chest just gives you bullets. Oh no, it gave me a scar as well. Yeah, that's a pretty cool addition. I don't think we've. Oh, we did use the scar. I like the scar, dude. I love it. It's a brilliant addition. I was I was not expected to get anything from the chest. I wonder if the loot's like if we can get anything else other than just a scar and bullets though. What's that? Oh, we got a rift to go. Oh, so you do get a whole range of different things. Yo, that's a pretty cool addition. The battle bus, and we've also got this, which is the battle bus path. Now, I think, according to what I'm told, if I place down the, the battle, battle bus path, 
then the battle boss will follow it. So if I place down a couple of these, we'll place down a battle boss and see if it actually follows it. So yeah, we do have a fully, a huge battle boss, by the way. So I put that there. This thing is huge. Look at the size of this thing, dude. Oh, it's got the creeper on. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, the, I, they're not, it's not really following the path. I, it's believed to metaphor the path, but I didn't see any movement. Can we get inside of this thing, though? Wait, am I in it? Oh, we're inside. Oh, that's a pretty cool addition. So, yeah, you can get a battle boss. <laughs> it, um, the path thing doesn't really work. All right, so moving on to the vehicles. We've got the shopping cart. Again, you can just roam around in these. It would be so much fun to have races with these. And they do go up and down terrain as well. Obviously, I believe they replace the likes of your donkeys and your horses. But hey, who doesn't want a Fortnite shopping cart in your game? We've also got this one as well, which you know is the uh, quad crasher. What, wait, what, will, it, will it actually destroy things? That's a good question. Now, I don't think it does destroy anything at all. But again, you can still use it. I, I guess it's a cool addition. He did a real good job on the textures though. But yeah, I love this thing. He did a brilliant job. He did a fantastic job. And then last but not least, we've got the uh, the golf cart, which is a lot faster than most of these, by the way. In fact, it's really fast. <laughs> it's a really fast go cart. Uh, a golf cart. It's a brilliant addition, though. They're just cool things to mess around with in your game. Uh, and then we move over to a couple of Save the World things. So we've got Save the World Sword. You've got this one, which is another one. Um, you can use these to attack things as well. Uh, I should have used this guy as my test dummy today. Because you can, you can attack him. Of course, it's the default guy. Which you can just kill with all kinds. Actually, let's grab ourselves. Uh, let's grab ourselves a weapon. Let's go with... Let's go with a sniper. Can we grab this? Have we used a sniper? Here we go. Headshot. One. So it's a two shot. I'm going to put down... Uh, I'm going to grab the rocket launcher. I'm going to put him down. I want to see if the rocket launcher is a one-shot kill on this guy. I'm sorry, dude, but we got a test. It went through him. Does it not kill him? There we go. Okay. He basically absorbed it. Oh, I see a kitty cat as well. Sorry, kitty cat. <laughs> I'm so evil. So let's get rid of everything else that I'm car carrying right here. We don't need this. Um, you've got also the pickaxes in game as well. You've got the Rift Edge, the Spectra, uh, Axaroni, and Permafrost. You've also got the, the, the map as well. It's, it's an outdated map though. It's from before the Christmas update. So yeah, that's also something to take into consideration. Also, you've got the Storm as well, which... It doesn't do damage because I'm currently in creative. I wonder if it will do damage in survival though. Forward slash game mode S. Oops. No, it doesn't do any damage. I thought it may have done damage to me, but it doesn't do anything at all. All right, let's go back. Forward slash game mode. But anyway, guys, that's everything I wanted to show for you today. I, I think it's a pretty cool addition. I think add-ons and mods are getting better and better. Uh, actually, there is one more thing I want to show you, and we need to go to the main menu to do this. So this is your main menu. Obviously, it's replaced Minecraft with Fortnite. If you go to settings, and you go to global resources, and you click on this, which is obviously the, the add-on, the mod, you click on this, you can change the Fortnite settings. So I had everything set to legendary. You can set it to epic, you can set it to rare, you can set it to uncommon, and you can set it to common. I'm going to keep it on common for now, and we're going to jump back in game, and I want to show you the changes. I don't think it made many changes, but it's meant to change the rarity of weapons. But nonetheless, brilliant addition, pretty cool add-on. I liked it a lot. If you guys did, then please be sure to hit that like button. Check it out for yourself. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.